those early years were pretty, pretty impressive. Uh, and it was just, it was, um, I didn't know how good it was, of course, but I certainly do now. And, and, and uh, you know, I, I'll never see anything. I've had some great years in the upper skiing and river system in the 80s, but even that paled in comparison to, to some of those experiences. You know, it, it's kind of uh, frustrating to try to explain what we had because it's, uh, it borders on the unbelievable. Well, it depends on where it is, but uh, steel had to under pressure just about everywhere. And so many of the western rivers, the steel had are gone. The biggest threat I believe the steel had uh, today um, is water. The question is who in the end is going to get the water and will there be any left for the steel head? Uh, the man caused mortality associated with the impounded eight dam complex of federal hydro dams on the Snake and Columbia River, that is the proverbial straw that breaks the camel's back and that our wild stocks cannot build and will continue to kind of circle the vortex of extinction. Yes, I am concerned with the, the future of steelhead. We've certainly lost um, the early component of our fishery here. We used to get fish on this system up on the Bulkley Maurice um, in July. And then we used to get fish in August. And now uh, we hope for fish in September. So the timing, the commercial fishery has had a big uh, impact on the early uh, runs of steelhead. Habitat loss. And water drawdowns are one issue in certain certain watersheds with water temperature increases for summer fish holding, but the biggest thing is lack of spawning gravel uh, and decent water conditions for spawning. Whether it's dams on the river or logging and siltation, loss of habitat is the real bad thing. And the other thing that I really dislike seeing are wild fish replaced by hatchery fish. Over five billion uh, hatchery smolts are introduced into the North Pacific every year. Um, I, I think you'd have to be a little bit concerned. No hatchery has ever equaled, not when salmon or steelhead has ever equaled, the number of fish that was in the stream before the dam or the hatchery was put in. You know, steelhead are like a lot of other creatures on the planet. They're under attack. There's not a lot of them. That's what like, makes them valuable in the first place. The Skeena is the last stronghold, one of the last strongholds, not the last strongholds, but one of the last mighty undammed rivers with lots of big steelhead in it. Do we want to see it go the way of the dodo? If we don't make some critical decisions right now, this wonderful sport and this wonderful animal are going to be lost. I have no doubt about it. Make up your mind. You know, is this worth saving? Don't screw with it. Don't put in a dam. Careful with your extractions. Don't have mineral exploration in the headwaters. So we've got to come to those decisions. What's it worth? Is it worth money? Is it, it what, what's it worth? So as a young person now, you don't have a choice. You, you, you don't get to behave casually and carelessly like we did um, and just fish and, and, and then that's it. Let somebody else take care of it. No, you have to take care of it. It's like anything else in life. You better pay attention to the old people if you want to learn something. <laughs> to drive